Three. Hi, this is Ryan from Halo Inc. And today we're going to be setting up a small print job. Um, there's going to be some flyers going on under pound gloss cover stock. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and drag one side of our file in and we're going to impose it by right clicking and selecting from this drop down. Imposing is where you're going to set up the front and back of your print as well as how you gang them up. So the first thing we're going to go to is gang up and we're going to select our paper size which is 11 by 17 and since this is a front and back file you do want duplex on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab side 2 and just drop this over here and you're gonna see that we've got both sides on there. Um, next what I do is I change the way that it gangs it up to repeat and you'll see that it's just gonna start stacking the front and the backs together. And from here, you could change the rows and columns to get what fits on the page. And I mean, you can even play with uh, the instruction to see how many you could get up. So we could actually get more like that but what we want to do is we want to put on trim marks. So we do that. And then we know that there is a one, two, five bleed on there. So we're going to do that. And what that does is it kind of smashes them into the gutter, which we're going to set at 0.1. And the gutter is the distance in between prints. And as you see, everything still fits and we get all of our trim marks. Um, so we should be good there and everything looks all right so we're going to just going to go ahead and click the x to close this and we save it now you get this uh, imp.pdf file this is the one that we just imposed uh, so we're going to go ahead and double click on this go to media and we're going to select the tray we're pulling from which is tray six um, which already has the the correct paper in there Everything else, we're just going to go ahead and just leave uh, default on this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to print off one copy just to check alignment. And that is pretty nice looking, so now this is what's important on double sided prints is that we are checking to make sure our alignment looks good and those crop marks are pretty dang close all the way around so i'm going to go ahead and say that that is good to print so now we would just need to figure out how many of these sheets we need to print to complete the job um, so we're going to go ahead and set that up now get them running and then we'll take it over to the cutter